What's up world, I'm Mr. Baca, and tomorrow is March 10th, 2021. Do you know what that means? It's Mario Day, March 10th, M-A-R-1-0, Mario, and he's gonna be 35 this year. And thanks to the epic Miss Shea here at Mahanison, she shared with me this resource from sciencebuddies.org that give you some fun and engaging ways to do STEM learning activities while celebrating Mario at the same time. Thank you again, Ms. Shea, for sharing this resource with us. And if you go here to sciencebuddies.org, you will see right off their homepage, this power up with the STEM activities for Mario Day. And they give you the Mario basics if you're, you know, a noob and don't know anything about Mario, the greatest video game character of all time. But now let's jump into some Mario STEM activities. The first thing they have here is the Mario World Marble Run. It's a classic side-scrolling adventure, and what you're gonna be doing is creating a marble wall by using different resources in your house to create what looks like a Mario-themed marble run. It's very fun, and if you need a video tutorial, they have one right here. Next up, they have the Wind Flower Air Blasts. You might have seen these Vortex Cannons in different formats. I remember seeing these at Spencer Gifts back in the day at my mall, but now they have here a Mario themed wind flower air blast, something that you will create and that you can actually shoot little puffs of air that feel like a little ball, but thankfully it's not on fire. Next up, this one's a little bit more challenging. You have here the propeller Mario and what they're gonna be doing is showing you how to make a propeller Mario drone. This is some next level stuff and you definitely need to have a parent if you have not used this before, or if you are an older student, try this out. You have a DIY mini drones video that they provide here to give you a real detailed setup. Next up, we have number four, the cotton ball launcher, which is very similar to our second STEM activity, but this is kind of like when Mario eats a fire flower, you have the ability to shoot out, you know, little fireballs. Well, this right here is going to launch actual cotton balls that you can, you know, pretend are fireballs. Really fun, and again, you have a YouTube video to help you out. Next up, I love this. I used to play with this toy back when I was a kid all the time, but it was like an army man parachute. But now you can make your own Cape Mario parachute. Now this right here came out in Super Mario Brothers 3, I believe where you could fly and let me tell you, this was my jam. I tried to sneak through all the levels using all the secret shortcuts, but this is really fun too. Basically, you're creating a little Mario figure, you're getting a Mario figure from one of your toys, and based on the weight, you're going to create a uh, parachute, and it shows you how to make a parachute with different types of paper here, and then you can throw, and it's kind of like Mario with the parachute. Next up, this is a classic. I used to do this back when I was a first grade teacher all the time, showing how to create Mario using just an eight bit style graph paper. Now, what you have here is a very simple uh, way to create Mario. You can see exactly how many squares you need to count out, but they have right here a resource. All these are hyperlinks where you can see all different types of 8-bit characters. For example, I love the Zelda series, so naturally I drew Link and Zelda and the Triforce, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, you can find a lot of fun things here. Next up, we have the Catapult Launcher. Okay, so in Super Mario Galaxy, you are launched from star from world to world in these like star catapults. And right here, if you have these popsicle sticks and rubber bands, and right here, it's like a little bottle cap. If you use all of these and some glue, you can actually create a catapult launcher and then you can kind of make it themed. You can put like a little Mario character in there and uh, make this bottle cap yellow and, and pretend like it's a shooting star over from Super Mario Galaxy, really cool stuff. Okay, next up, if you're a Mario Kart fan, you're gonna love this one. This is a wind-powered cart. So this is a tutorial on how to make a wind-powered cart, but after you finish building it, it's really time for you to decorate it with the theme of Mario Kart. And this would be, you know, one of the fun examples that you could use, but I'm gonna pull up my Super Mario uh, Kart 8 Deluxe and then see what my favorite character is, Metal Peach, and then make my cart exactly like that one. Now this activity is really interesting because it reminds me of Game Theory and MatPat and all the stuff they would do to determine how high Mario's jumping and how tall he is. Well, this one is called Walking Mario, where he doesn't appear in the game to be very tall, but they give you this STEM activity where you can estimate someone's height by their walk and it gives you a whole like analysis on how to 
get this formula, get to the exact answer. I don't want to spoil anything, but it's really interesting. And then after you do this, I highly recommend going and watch Matt Pat's Mario videos, the science videos. They're really hilarious. And they'll be, I think your students will really enjoy it. Okay, next up, you have, you've probably heard of the Rube Goldberg machine. Well, this one is a Mario inspired one where you have the pipe and the tunnels and all that stuff. This is a really cool Rube Goldberg machine and they give you some examples on how you can make your own. And I bet honestly, with all the different things that you have in the like, Nintendo Labo, you could really do some fun stuff with this. This is a fun one, pretty easy to do. I know my daughter would love it because of the M&Ms, but this right here is called Camouflage Koopas. With their turtle-like shells, the Koopas show up with a range of colors, green, blue, yellow, red, and there are several Koopa subtypes in the different games, like Koopalians, I didn't even know that was a thing, which can briefly turn invisible. What if the colors, or what if the colors of Koopas were related to how easy or difficult they were to be defeated? So this is a candy camouflage activity that you can use to show um, firsthand how to do camouflage, or even you can use this for how to do probability, lots of different cool things you can do with M&Ms, but having the theme of Mario Brothers with the Koopas makes it very easy. All right, this one's really easy to make and can be a ton of fun, especially now that we're stuck at home. We have Shadow Puppet Mario. So if you know anything about making puppets, Shadow Puppets, really not that hard. If you have like the straw and tape and cardboard, that's really all you need. And that what they have here is they've like drawn a background and it's a simple Mario background. And with that little prop and all the different little uh, silhouettes that they've made here with their shadow puppets, they could, you know, create a whole ensemble, create an entire play, list the cast of characters and really go deep. Uh, something that we used to do with actual like puppets when I was a first grade teacher, but it's just a fun way to, you know, take it to the next level. Last but not least, another favorite of mine, again, having to do with Mario Kart. This here is Bumper Karts, where you learn about engineering car crash safety with Newton's third law. So if you're interested about this, check this out. It's a really in-depth description on what you're gonna do, linking it all to Mario Kart, which is hilarious. And that's about it. There's more stuff in here that, you know, I'm not gonna talk about such as designing video games, Super Mario Maker, duh. But if you have more, you know, questions, please check out this site, sciencebuddies.org. They have a wealth of information. Again, a huge shout out to Ms. Shea for sharing this with us. Most importantly, don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll see you next time.